Hello again, folks. I'm back again with yet another little talk on the uh, another fruit of the spirit, and this time it's uh, goodness, and that's the sixth fruit of the spirit. Right, the fruit of the spirit, goodness, is not just moral behaviour, but an excellence on one's character. Think about that, an excellence on your character. Like any of the fruits or gifts of the Spirit, they're only possible through God's grace and mercy on us. Nothing else can we get them by other than his grace and mercy. Goodness is selfless care for others. And the dictionary definition of goodness is, and I'm going to read from notes here for this part, is the quality of being morally good or virtuous, a belief in basic goodness of mankind. And number two is the beneficial or nourishing element of food. We do say a lot of times that things are good, uh, a meal's good, sunshine's good, everything. There's, there's, there's so many ways to use the word good and explain what that word means to us. Now, the biblical definition of goodness is goodness in action is not something we do only for the sake of being virtuous. When we strive to be good only for our own benefits, it is not truly goodness that we possess. The Greek word for goodness means an uprightness of heart and life. Uprightness of heart and life. It's in the Greek, it means. Now, Jesus displayed goodness in everything he did. And he is really the perfect example of goodness. He's the perfect example of every one of the fruits of the spirits and every one of the gifts of the spirits. And when we act out of true goodness, our heart, the true goodness of our heart, how many of us really act truly out of goodness, out of the goodness of our heart? So when we do act out of the true goodness of our heart, and show the fruit of the Spirit in us, we are be being obedient to God's commandments. And as we seek the benefit of others before our own needs, that's goodness, putting everyone else above your needs, above your wants, above your desires, loving everyone. Now, as I've said, Jesus is the perfect example of goodness. After all, just look at what he did and did for us all. No matter if we believe in him or not, he did it for us all. You know, he did it for you, he did it for me, he did it for all of mankind. And remember that the gospel means good news. So in Acts 10, 38, and I'm going to read from my Bible here, my version, NLT, Study Bible, says that, Peter says, And no doubt you know that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Then Jesus went around doing good and healing all, healing all, who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Also, Jesus called the Good Shepherd. Now, in Matthew 5 and 16, we're told, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. How many of us wait for people to actually see the good deeds that we're doing and 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 we don't take praise, but we give all glory to God. 
too many of us are taking pictures of the good deeds we do and splashing them all over uh, social media. Too many of us are wanting man's accolade for, oh, brilliant, well done. And we're all, you know, giving ourselves claps in the back. No, that's not the way to do it. If we have been delivered by God's power, we are witnesses to his power to save. We can carry the light of his good news to those held captive in the darkness of their sin. Sinful behaviours are found in families, toxic relationships, etc. And people are in desperate need for the truth and the light. Are you willing to let the truth and the light shine through you to these people in spiritual oppression darkness? Sinful behaviours can be overcome with the light of the world who is Jesus. We can and do make incredible impacts on people, relationships and social structures just by the way we act, the way we treat others. Do you want to make an an impact today on other people? You can start doing it today. Now, We make impacts in others and situations and structures, social structures. We do this by being willing to let the Holy Spirit work through us and shine our spiritual light for others to see. It's only through the Holy Spirit that we can do it, not by our own good works, by Holy Spirit alone. Now, it's a privilege to be able to share the good news of God's love with people, is it not? I think it is. I think it's an absolutely wonderful privilege to be able to do that. We can extend hope to the lost, hurting people of the world, our neighbours, our families, our friends, our work colleagues, the girl who served us our coffee in the morning, the checkout operator that we go through with our weekly groceries. And goodness isn't about doing elaborate things and flashing out loads of money in people. No, no. It's the small things. Oops, sorry. It's the small things we do throughout our day. Like in work, going off and making a coffee for someone without being asked and just giving them a cup of coffee. Or your colleague who hasn't gotten around to doing that great big pile of filing. And you know that they're swamped under with work. Go and do the filing for them. Or holding the door open for someone. What was the last time you held the door open and let someone come in behind you or uh, come come in in front of you? And I walk in a supermarket or any sort of a shop, and you see someone shorter than yourself struggling to get some something from a, a top shelf. Go reach it down for them. A smile, a simple smile, not showing goodness to people. I mean, you show a simple smile to a stranger in the street, a supermarket, wherever. It could be the making or breaking of their day. And in doing acts of kindness, we reflect the character of Christ in us and possession of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. That's that's worth repeating. We reflect the character of Christ in us and the possession of the Holy Spirit in us. Remember, when we show goodness, we bring glory to God's name. And Jesus is the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his flock. And we are the sheep Jesus Christ laid down his life for you. Accept him as your saviour, Lord and saviour of your life today. And start walking in these fruits of the Spirit. I will be back in a few days time with uh, fruit of the Spirit number seven, which is faithfulness. 
until then, my God bless you all, one and all in your families. Bye.